Hi Stampers, this is Aubrey. I'm a guest stamper for Jill and I wanted to show you some fun ideas with the gift bag punch board um, at some ways to maybe use it in a different way than you would originally think to use it. So the punch board's awesome. It's in the new catalog and it has all the directions on how to to cut your paper and everything for a small, medium, or large bag on it, and it's really fun. The first project I wanted to show you is made with the Timeless Elegance paper, and it has this cute little flap on it to close it instead of just having it open at the top. So I wanted to show you how I did that. So I used the small, um, the small score line for this bag. The the sizing on it here, I'll show you this. The sizing on it is a 10 by 8 piece of paper and you'll score it normally like how you do and punch it down here but then we're also going to punch the top up here too and you'll see we'll cut those four things off and leave this one. So I'll show you that. I've already punched this line. So you're just, each line that you punch down here we're going to do, line it up with the same one and punch again just on this side so punch here and you're also going to oops, get my little scoring thing out here you're also going to do the horizontal score line so line it up again here and punch and again here and punch here on the end. Okay, so this is what your project is going to look like. And you can see, it's kind of hard to tell on this paper, but this is the bottom, it has the gussets, and the top does not. So you're gonna cut, you're gonna leave this flap, the end large flap on your bag, but you're going to snip away the other flaps. Now you want to keep this flap because we're going to use that in our project. So then you fold your bag, and I've kind of already folded mine, but I'm going to put some Fast Fuse adhesive on here. Fast Fuse is great for this project. It holds the bag together really well. So connect the bag. And you're also going to fold in the bottom, which we're going to pretend that I glued all that up together. But I wanted to show you on here, we'll put, we're going to use this piece that we cut from this side on our bag, and we're going to glue it onto here, just so that our flap has a little bit more, I don't know, flare. Okay? Now, I wanted to show you how the bag stays down with a pearl enclosure here. We just took one of the base brads and put a pearl on it and then put a hole so that it would keep it closed. So I, I used a piece of our chipboard from just one of our packets of paper and I put it here on the inside and I closed it up and then I took my piercing tool and I kind of eyeballed here the middle and pierced it through so you can see the hole on in through both but you don't want to get a hole through the back so that's why we put that in the middle there and then you punch a bigger hole through the flap like so now I have my pearl already on there and you put the pearl through the small hole on the bag and clasp it down. Now you can use your hole here and it makes the bag stay closed, which is a really fun way to do that. We found this idea, um, we were at Susan Adams' house and she had a sample like this, so we got the idea from Susan. That's what the finished product looks like. I use this You're So Sweet stamp set for the little greeting and we made a cute bag. 
Another idea I wanted to show was an envelope pouch card that you could use using the gift punch board. This is the paper size. I used an eight and a half by five and three eighths piece of paper and I used the medium score line. So you're gonna score your, your pouch card like so, but you're not going to use the side score lines. You're just gonna use a medium score line and you're still gonna do your punches like you would. And then you'll cut these flaps off and fold it together like this. I'm not sure how easily you can see, but I just adhered these sides together and folded, oops, and folded the flap up in the back. And it gives you a cute little envelope pouch card. The last idea I wanted to show you is a cute box you can make using the gift bag punch board. So you can see it has a top here and you can put a cute little treat or some little cards in there. And on this, I used this stamp from the You Got This set and just gave it a little bit of color down here on the bottom part of the box. So to do this box, you need two pieces of paper. The bottom piece is an 11 by four and a quarter piece of paper. And you can see on this, you do it like you would do any medium score line box, except I, d I didn't do the gussets on the bottom. You score this line and this line, which if you look on the gift punch board, it would be this line, but you don't do the gussets on it, so you don't have the bag part of it. Okay, and then the top of the box is the same way. You just do a smaller piece of paper. It's 11 by two and a half and you, the same thing, you do all the score lines but you don't do the gussets for it. And it creates a fun box top. And, and for the flower on the top, I used the new cotton paper assortment and made a cute little flower. So those are my ideas using a different look, some different ideas for the gift bag punch board. Thanks for stamping with me today.